everybody. Today we're going to talk about fat loss because all of you are coming out of quarantine. Hallelujah, thankfully, outside in the sunshine. And those of you who have gym access, you're able to start working out like normal again. What have you? We're coming into summertime. Everybody wants to lose body fat. They want to look good. Whether you're going to the beach, staying home, we want to be toned, right? And I thought this was the perfect time for me to talk about it because all of you are going to be in the same situation and I'm in the beginning of my competition prep. So body fat loss and maintaining muscle mass is the name of the game for me as well. So first and foremost, why do you want to lose body fat? You need to think about that question and look at your health history and how your body has normally responded to different types of workouts, to exercise and training and nutrition to figure out okay if I'm going to lose body fat on my midsection there's certain things that I'm probably gonna have to do and if there's you know any health risks that you might have you might have prediabetes insulin resistance um, you're having heart rate blood pressure type of issues might be good for you to lose a little bit of body fat so when you're thinking about losing body fat you need to evaluate three primary things. Number one, your overall energy expenditure. So that's the amount of time that you are literally burning calories. That can be during a workout, that can be during your cardio session, that can be literally while you are at home cooking in the kitchen or doing laundry or doing some type of chores. Those are the things that are going to start burning body fat. One of the things that I found really helpful this year, I finally invested in a heart rate monitor. There are a few different brands out there. This is a Polar A370. I bought off eBay but for a discount. But there's also the Whoop, and it is a tracker, and it does more than just your heart rate. This one does sleep, which was another reason I got it. So you need to have some way to start measuring how many calories you are burning. The trackers on the treadmill are not 100% accurate, but if you can start to gauge like your activity level, what it is on a day-to-day -day basis then you can start measuring is this activity enough to get to the results that I want I ended up losing three pounds within a week due to I increased my cardio but I also decreased stress which is number two on the fat burning list your hormones are so important to be able to balance everything in your body realistically so if you aren't sleeping, if your cortisol is super high, you're stressed at work, you come home and you're arguing with your partner, your kids are all over the place, we're coming into summertime so they're not going to be in school anymore, you got all these extra stressors going on, that's going to affect your weight loss. You might also have some gut issues and there's hormones in our gut that affect our gut and if our body is not in sync together. We might not be digesting all of our macronutrients, but we might also not be absorbing micronutrients. And that can be caused by stress on the body. So start evaluating your stress. You might need to start going to bed earlier or come up with some strategies to decrease your stress level overall. And having serious conversations with the people closest to you in your lives so that they understand your goal and can help you achieve it is going to be key for you. So number three, in helping you to lose body fat is going to be your foods that you choose. Now, I am certified as a holistic nutrition coach, but I am not a dietitian. I can help guide you to certain foods, but ultimately you will need to figure out what foods are going to work best for you, and that takes time, trial and error. And it also is going to depend on how much your body can consume right now. If we are more sedentary, odds are we don't really need to be eating a lot. So you're probably going to want to start out at a pretty moderate level for your proteins and then your carbohydrates and fats, depending on if you're a man or a woman, you're going to need to determine that accordingly. I prefer women to have more of a moderate fat and lower carbohydrates just so that your insulin sensitivity is a little bit higher, which helps with the overall hormone regulation, period health, gut health, all of those together. And for men, a lot of guys get a lot of success with the higher protein, higher carbs, and lower fats. So that's something you need to take into consideration as well. I am going to put this one out here as my 
bonus number four is your added fat burning opportunities so I am 12 weeks out from my show and I'm not on any stimulants or fat burners the only one you could include might be coffee that I have like a few days out of the week first thing in the morning so I personally believe that to lose body fat in a healthy way you do not need to rely on stimulants or fat burners I've had countless people reach out to me what's an easy way to burn body fat what's a really good fat burner and it's really gonna depend on those first three things if you don't get those in sync throwing a fat burner into the mix with probably fake ingredients and way too much caffeine it's not gonna help you it's gonna put you down the drain your adrenal glands your thyroid not good so you're looking at natural ways to do fat burning you need to get the first three with your sleep your total activity expenditure and your food in check and then you can start looking at things like green tea extract cinnamon cayenne pepper um, doing apple cider vinegar and lemon water to balance your pH first thing in the morning and I actually start wearing a waist trainer during my morning cardio sessions I didn't today but I'm not too concerned with it because like I said I'm 12 weeks out from a show and for me I want to keep my gut health in check before I worry about trying to get my waist super tiny which I'm already blessed with a smaller waist so take those to heart and remember the three keys to fat burning are number one how your body is to begin with and how you're recovering it and resting it and that overall stress load number two is total energy expenditure from your workouts your cardio from your random walks around the mall everything in the day and three your total caloric intake so I hope this helps you guys if you have any questions feel free to comment below or send me a DM I am working on creating a new program for you guys that is an eight-week challenge if you will to help with fat loss so reach out thanks again strong sweet Caroline and may you all feel like goddesses in your day-to-day -day life